So today is the day of Donald Trump's second impeachment trial vote. There's a lot of shit to unpack from today and really honestly from this week. But the one thing that people keep talking about is the Democrats decided to vote for witnesses and then after winning the vote for witnesses, they did not call any witnesses. There's a lot of stuff to unpack about this particular vote. Uh, the House managers wanted witnesses, and the one witness they wanted was the House Republican that was willing to make a statement under oath about Kevin McCarthy's uh, recount of his conversation with Donald Trump on the day of the insurrection. Which shows that Donald Trump had intent, and his intent was to incite an insurrection. And not only to incite an insurrection, but to maintain the insurrection. To not do anything the fuck about the insurrection in the moment. There's plenty of stuff that Donald Trump could have done. When he realized that not only the members of Congress, but his vice president was under duress. From the people that he sent there to put him under duress. And that's why Donald Trump didn't do anything. That's why he didn't fucking make any moves. Or he didn't try to protect the vice president or, or members of Congress for that matter. Because he intended to send them. And he intended to intimidate those people. With his mob. With his supporters. That was the intent. And that is why the member of Congress, the Republican member of Congress, that congresswoman wanted to testify under oath. And the house managers wanted her to testify under oath. Now, a lot of people have been placing blame on Democrats because it seems like they caved. But they didn't really cave here. Because what what would have been the story if, if this member of Congress who voted to impeach Donald Trump, who was already an, already an enemy of QAnon MAGA Trumpsters, coming to the Senate to testify under oath, and as soon as she's under oath, they're, wow, that's not true. That's not true. You're just an you're just an anti-Trumper. You're a never Trumper. Of course, that would have been the excuse, and the defense would have stalked off her 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 statements as if they were untrue. So it would have gone no further, and it would have prolonged the process by possibly a week or two, which meant that Republicans wanted to hold coronavirus hostage because to move on with further business. The Republicans could hold other business hostage if they hadn't adjourned the trial. So Democrats decided to submit her statement that she already wrote last night as part of evidence. Which would have been nothing really different than the, the statement she would have made under oath in the Senate. So here we sit and we try to blame Democrats. Well, fuck me. Democrats voted not only to make this, make sure this is constitutional, but every fucking one of them, every one of them voted to convict Donald Trump, plus seven Republicans. Seven! Now, that's not enough to get a conviction because in our great constitution, it lays out two-thirds of the vote of the majority because we worship a filibuster. And if there's not one goddamn conclusion we need to come to here, it's that the filibuster needs to fucking go. Now. Fuck the filibuster and anything that looks like the filibuster. Fuck them. We do not need a minority par party, especially a minority point of view. The Republicans in the Senate all, all don't even represent 40% of the country here. Don't even represent 40% of the population. And we're giving them credence in the minority. As if, as if they should have some superpower over the majority. And that's why this country is in such shambles. It's because we're letting the minority run this fucking country. And it's ridiculous. Sit down and shut the fuck up. 
Enough is enough of this. 71 million people, 70 million people, 70 some million people vote. Donald Trump even released a statement after the acquittal vote talking about 70 some million of his people that he got the most votes a sitting president's ever gotten in history of ever, ever, ever. Well, good for you, you fucking idiot. It was 7 million fucking votes short. Because 81 million people voted against Donald Trump. And that's the thing we need to take away here. Is that even though two-thirds of the vote wouldn't vote to convict what is obviously, obviously guilt. In a political trial and an impeachment hearing on the United States Senate floor. But in a general presidential election... We don't need two-thirds vote. We don't need it. As long as we go vote against fascism, not just Trump, not just QAnon, not just Trumpism, fascism in general. And we can see it clearly now. It's more clear than day of who's the fascist. It's very clear that 43 senators are either full-on fascist, borderline fascist, closet fascist, or just straight-up Nazis. You pick. You fucking pick. And speaking of Republican senators, the fucking garbage out of Mitch McConnell's mouth and his little fucking diatribe after the vote. All of a sudden, this motherfucker becomes a Democrat. Becomes a never-Trumper all of a sudden. As soon as... The, before the ink even fucking dries on the on the New York Times front page that Donald Trump's acquitted, this guy's already a radical liberal socialist. Never-Trumper. A traitor. On the floor of the Senate talking about how, well, if Donald Trump, if Donald Trump, he can be convicted in a criminal court, you fucking damn right he will. You fuck around and find out, hide and watch, he's gonna be. If anyone believes that Donald Trump is not gonna be tied up in some criminal court somewhere, you are a fucking bonehead. He's never been able to stop committing crimes and he won't stop now. Him and his fucking little family. But then Mitch McConnell goes on to say the reason why he voted to acquit is because this trial was unconstitutional. You dumb motherfucker. The United States Senate gets to decide via the Constitution of rather a fucking trial on a former official that was impeached while he was in office. The president specifically is constitutional. They took that vote. The constitution lays it out very clearly. Very fucking clearly. The Senate decides the proceedings of an impeachment trial. It's their fucking responsibility. And they voted with the help of six fucking Republicans that it is constitutional. So bam, baby, your little fucking argument about not being constitutional is done. Mitch McConnell better beg for forgiveness here. Beg. Either that or sit down and shut the fuck up. We got work to do. The country is ready to move the fuck forward to, to, to do something about coronavirus and get this goddamn shit under control, make sure the vaccine is fucking distributed, and get people who need help, help. And let's fucking appoint Merrick Garland as Attorney General and get on with this shit. And get to the criminal trials of these criminal fucks. These criminal MAGA QAnon fucks already. 
Let's get a real attorney general on the job. Merrick Garland, you are going to be the busiest motherfucker in this country. Because fuck Donald Trump and anyone who looks like Donald Trump. Fuck them.